Welcome back, friends and family. Today, Lowrider Magazine, April 1990. On the cover, we can see a Toyota MR2, which usually I don't like those things, but this thing looks kind of cool for what it is. You know, those mid-engine cars out of the 80s, like the Pontiac Fiero and the, the MR2. Those are not really like my style of, of cars, but like anyhow it's good looking and I think it's cool because it's called Fly Guy and um, I think the guy liked Superfly as you you probably all know the show with that really cool Cadillac and uh, you can see the headlights are kind of like the Superfly like Superfly's uh, Cadillac that pimp mobile uh, he had headlight covers like this and I think that's cool and the wheels look awesome and the paint looks good so um, yeah let's just get this started and uh, see what's in this issue here you can see what's going on letters as always let me know if you want me to read some of them uh, to you or the love lines there's a beautiful beautiful 64 rack top i love all the gold accents the, all the gold uh, details beautiful car just beautiful what a dream was built hydraulics by by early hydraulics out of uh, long beach i think if you want to pause, you can read the whole article if you want. Beautiful car. Just simple but so classic. With the roof up. 13 by 7. Uh, Dayton's on 520s. Awesome. 8 batteries, 2 pumps. Nice setup. Simple, but just clean. Clean car. Lake Lake. I don't even know where that is. But, uh... Nice mini truck on Fuchs wheels. Nice Mercedes. I always liked that. All the Mercedes guys, I think they don't like it now. But, uh... What they did here, I think the hood is of a, a W126, it's the Mercedes S-Class in, in the 80s and I think the hood fits on the smaller car though, the 190 also known as uh, W201 I think and uh, it, it just looks cool I think. And he has aftermarket wheels, but they actually look like uh, not AMG, the other brand. I don't know, not Brabus and not AMG, but those used to be like the style was Mercedes. But um, as always, I'm not really a Mercedes guy, so I hope I'm not wrong. Nice bike. Nissan Sentra. Man, I always wonder because we just featured one that was blue and I always wonder if that's the one that Cali Boy is restoring at the moment or maybe he already gave it away, he wanted to give it away, like give it away to someone. Here we have a Mercedes W124 and that's the two-door CL. Those are kind of cool, you know, As, especially if you have like a like a bigger engine one or whatever and as I said I maybe post photos of from what that hood come uh, came from what's what's kind of not so cool if those the hood is wider so your fog lights are under the grill which I think is kind of lame but anyhow there we have a uh, cool S10 it says art on the grill that looks cool Nice Accord, but you can't uh, top a 54 hardtop with a Continental kit and Lancer hubcaps. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. 
I would take this over any of those cars. Nice lineup of uh, Fox Buddy Mustangs. I wish I could play the Computer Love song right now. That really left an impression like the first time I watched, um, what's it called, Menace to Society. And he rolls up with his, his dark green uh, fox body on Dayton's. That was pretty cool, really cool. And that song came up. The Samurai Gang. I know not all of them are Samurais. Nice Chevy. Sorry. My belly is making noises, I hope you don't hear that. Um, I don't know, I probably said that in an older video, but my friend came over one night when we were like young and, oh beautiful, beautiful Fox Body Mustang. And it's not the Fastback, it's the sedan. So cool, also on 15 inch Dayton's. I love the color combination. There you can pause that if you if you want to read that, oh yeah, 15 by 8 reverse statens. Nice. N nice reel. Just looks cool. So what I wanted to say about those, those summarize after this. Okay, sorry. That paint is just awesome. The inside. That paint, wow, simple, but clean, like crazy good looking. Crazy, that's just something if you have like magenta over anything, like dark blue or like dark purple and black, that just looks so cool. And so 80s with the, or 90s, 90s, with the uh, smoke headlight covers, I always love those. I maybe, like do my own for my for my 71 Impala because I I really want to do like a not a not a 70s and not a 90s car like a in between 70 and 80 style car I still gonna rock Craig uh, not Craig it's Rockets but I want to go a little bit like away from the panels what everybody's doing and do like 80s weird. Like you would see on like a like a 80s uh, car craft magazine cover car, you know those lines that go over and under. Mini trucks had that too. So anyhow, um, actually wanted to. That's Bismarcky. I don't know any other guys. Um, beautiful Lincoln, lethal weapon again. That car was all over in all those advertisings, I think. Wow. Hawaii's own tight budget on what looks center lines or Krager also had a wheel like that. The paint is a little bit crazy. I don't know. Well, a sun visor. Here you can uh, pause and read this if you are if you're interested. There's more interior shots. Is that frame rusty or is it just one of that like those marbleized uh, paints? I don't know looks weird it's it's super humid on on hawaii so i guess maybe it's just rust i don't know who knows a cool truck though not my style uh, what i wanted to say about the suzuki samurai now first of all if you own one because i know there's a big revival on those things i don't know what it is i just know those things as suzuki samurais and um i welded i just uh, fixed one recently because here they also rust away like it's it's nothing nice 
Nice kale bake. And um, beautiful artwork. Always loved that truck. Always. So what I wanted to say, wow, are classifieds. You rarely see those in Lowrider magazines. 36 Buick, six grand. That's not too bad. It's a special, it's a series, uh, it's, a, it's a 40 series. That's cool. Wow, the Humpty Dumpty, a uh, uh, digi uh, digital underground. Okay, so if I can finally finish my little Suzuki Samurai story, and I mentioned that before in a different uh, video I did. My friend picked me up in the middle of the night and there is, there's like an old cemetery up the hill in my little town here, in, in little Farmersville. And uh, he's a farmer, so I don't know where he got that thing, but um, there's a roundabout right in front of it where um, the the people would park. And he took it around that roundabout like a couple of times, and we were thinking, you know, like small wheelbase and short wheelbase, this thing at some point's gonna, you know, tilt over, and we thought it's funny. This thing, like, it was so quick that this thing was on its side and it really hurt. Like we had people in the back too, of course, like young kids. And uh, it just hurt that thing and it fell hard on its side. Um, yeah. So uh, that being said, I ruined one of those. But, uh, but I recently fixed one, so maybe that's good. So there we have a... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's it's definitely a Plymouth. It's lowrider of the month. It looks nice. I love, I always loved a darker blue metallic with pink and light blue pinstriping. That's always, that's, that's always a win, I think. Sorry for this. So it's a 41, I guess. I should read those before I feature those. Sorry, guys. We have a nice Fulton. That's an 800 series sun visor. It has the round corner, or maybe a later one. I don't know. But it looks nice overall. I, I guess it's a stock suspension. I don't know. Wow, everything chromed underneath, like, I mean, oil pan and, and transmission pan. Exhaust is chrome. So you could pause if you wanna. Yeah, I think there's no, no hydraulics on this thing. Leaf springs with those shocks with those springs around it, coil springs around it. I don't know what happened here. I don't know. Wow. Second car with a sinus in this. I can't say it. You know those wire wheels that everyone wants nowadays. Second car in this issue. But this thing would be so cool if it would be on the floor. It 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 always reminded me like seeing that car in the front. It has that Zephyr look, which is so cool. And you know, you lower that, you chop it. I mean, that would make a nice custom too. But most of the time, I think that the that the fenders, the rear fenders, there's just something which you can tell like it's a cheaper car. I, I don't know, it's just more flat than a Sephora. Sephora like swipes down so nice, the front ones too, and they're always molded in there. That's why I never really like those um, like 30s and 40s um, Mopars. Same with Chrysler's. Like those are nice fancy cars. If you think like a 1940 something, you know, like Chrysler New Yorker, fancy. It's just ugly. Sorry. 
I don't want to hurt your feelings if you own one. This is my opinion. So uh, there we go. N another Sentra. Those Lincolns just always look so gangster. And that 61 is just awesome. How laced they are. Nice little S10. Beautiful Calic. Beautiful. Love it. This is a beautiful car. Nice Chevy. Nice 63. And there we have the cover car. Oh, I think I... See, I... I lose my mind today, I think. So what I actually wanted to say is, I don't know if I said that in the beginning or, or not, because it took me like a couple of takes till I uh, record this video. So I think those never really sold in, in Frost, because in Frost, if you say MR2, they say uh, Meur de, and that sounds, also, Meur de is, I think two, I don't know. and. Uh, shit, sorry, is I think merde, merde, so merde, 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 so it's like shit, you know, so like French people would say, oh, to Yoda, and then that, and so I think it did not really sell that well, but maybe that's just a rumor, I don't know, but anyhow. Uh, what I wanted to say about this car is um, I usually don't like those things but what there's something to it and I'm just gonna show you the taillights and I thought the taillights look so cool they remind me of a Lincoln or it also could be a LeBaron or something but it all looks custom built and there's a one thing that I remember about that car that really makes it special besides that the guy liked Superfly and Superfly's Cadillac. I'm gonna post a picture. But uh, he actually took it to Gene Winfield. And I think that's why the paint looks so awesome. And that's why it has some custom touches. We, you can tell there's something special about that car. So um, yeah, I think that's cool. If you don't know who Gene Winfield is, um, I, I gonna make a video about him, but you you probably know he's like a custom a Custom guy a legend. He he built many very very cool cars in the past and uh, he, I think he did a couple of lowriders if like even in the late 90s there were some 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 lowriders that he Laid hand on and of course like I, I don't know how many Mercury's he did he did his own cars uh, he's he's very famous for his um, his his fadeaway paint as you guys uh, probably know I maybe find a picture and pause it somewhere but anyhow so we have here some millions I I start to like those they are fun again a central That thing looks cool. Supra, that looks cool. That's like my f my favorite Supra, I think, or Celica. I always, if you if you find them at the junkyard, the Supras they are here black, all black. It, it looked like an old iPhone, you know, where it's just like this. This it just looks nice. I don't know. I always like those things. Nice bike, nice truck, nice 90, it's a 98 Olds, you rarely see those, so the roof line you see, that's Cadillac, but the front is Olds, I've never seen a 98 two-door, so if you see the car like this, you, you would think it's a Cadillac, cool. Nice Chevy, another Nissan Sentra, nice Impala, 
I like 71, 72 Impalas, especially with that roof. 61 Impala. Nice Regal. Wow, look at that. That's, that's nice. That looks nice, all white. With a T-top, cool. Craig is on that Ford. That's definitely not a 44. I think that's a 40 Ford. I can tell. Love that chopped Volkswagen. Cool. Wow. Crazy. I forgot that this is in that that issue. So I think Early's hydraulics, I, I mentioned them earlier because they did the hydraulics on that beautiful rag top in the beginning, at the beginning, sorry, and a beautiful uh, 39. Their shop used to be, I think, I believe in Long Beach. And um, they used that in their ads, in the advertising. And I'm sure that we recently went through a magazine where this was in the back and I showed it to you. I always thought that a panel looks so gangster, especially if the door is open, they always almost look like they are chopped or something because they look so low but long. This is good look this is good looking car. So you can pause if you want to read this. I hope you can read it. Nice color combination. Oh always loved like a two-tone on on a 39. Beautiful. The gold leaf, it's awesome. No visor. Yeah, just check out that picture. That looks so gangster. So cool. And there you have the rest of the, the text. Beautiful. And just simple on the inside. Still stock, nothing fancy. That's cool. There we have a Mercury. Oh, four door with the suicide doors. Sixty-five. Cool paint on a mini truck. Cool Datsun truck, maybe? I don't know. Looks cool though. Nice shoebox, Teen Angel. That Ford looks cool. That thing really looks cool. Hell yeah, it's a post car but white fender. Um, wheel wells on the inside, uh, fender skirts in, in the back, cool looking car. Nice 64. Wow, back with fender skirts. Beautiful hardtop, Chevy. Wow, beautiful Buick Rivera. I love those. Okay, almost through. Crazy. Uh, 24 minutes. I always think that if I don't have like a lowrider of the year and not so many stories that they're going to be super short. But in the end they are uh, just as long as the other ones. So anyhow. Wow, Mercedes. Wow, crazy. Those wheels look crazy. And I think that's the small one. That is a, um, a 190, so it's a small one. It's a W201, small Mercedes. And as I said in the beginning, he used the hood of uh, W126, but the two-door coupe. So it's, it's called an SEC hood. 
and I always thought it looks cool because from the front it really looks cool but as you can see the car is way bigger than this one and way wider so the fork lights are under the grill and it's a little bit too long but from the front it kind of looks cool he also has like European style bumpers and it's a two-door it's a two-door convertible there never was a uh, uh, 190 Mercedes two-door convertible there is none even the crazy Evos like this car as how it looks normally there's an Evo 1 and an Evo 2 it's uh you can get it as a hot wheel nowadays I don't know that's the only thing I think you can afford right now to to buy it as because those went up crazy those used to be like in you know like over in Europe like 10 years ago you still could get one for like 20 grand now they are just the same as BMW E30 M3s they just for 70 like up to 100 grand or whatever it depends if it's an Evo 1 or 2 they have Cosworth heads it's crazy yeah see it's 190e the hood is of the S class as you see and they they converted it into a convertible and into a two door which is kind of cool if you want to read this read it I mean it just looks like the cover of like uh, or like album cover of I don't know who who had it like uh, e, EPMD or whatever they they were called or like um, Eric B and Rakim or whatever they had cars like that. There's also a really good movie. Uh, it's called Paid in Full. It's totally nineties East Coast gangsters and and whatever. It was produced, I think, by uh, by JC. And in the beginning and through all the the movie, you could see Mercedes, BMWs, Saabs. I think he's driving a Saab and and stuff like that really cool and it's kind of like new Czech city but um was made i think somewhere in in the the 2000s and it's a really good movie i post a photo if i can find something if you into like 90s european cars and east coast rap i don't know it's it's cool to check out here we have the love lines let me know if you ever, you know, sent in love lines or if anyone you knew did it, because I always thought that's cool. I I mean, most of them, I think, you know, if you read through them, they're, they're probably serve time or their loved one serve time. Same with all the old the Teen Angel magazines, they were all just for those. But it also could be that someone was in the service just overseas there are many people who were stationed somewhere in Japan or whatever and they got their their Lowrider magazine as a subscription and uh, yeah uh, talking about BMWs there we have an E30 not an M3 though so. okay ah yeah that's the car that was featured early hydraulics Long Beach, beautiful car, just beautiful. And always seeing that advertising, it just looks so gangster. It looks so cool and I love panels. So cool. If I build a, like a little model kit, I always build it like that. Always was looking, even Fords, like that's the only thing that I could find. Like a 40 Ford panel with Dayton's and all low in the back and race in the front that looks cool that's the look i think okay uh thank you guys almost 30 minutes i hope i even can upload that so uh thanks for watching i hit 80 subscribers which really blows my mind i'm really happy i'm i'm really happy that you guys like my stuff and it's fun to make those you know like now with the whole pandemic thing i just have time i don't know what else to do and um it's quiet at night so i i can record for for the most so uh thank you and hopefully see you in the next one okay
Bye.